Hello students. Let us solve examples of exercise 7.5. Question 1. Write the fractions appropriately as addition or subtractions. So here students different figures are given. We have to write the fractions from the figure and the two fractions is done with the additions or subtractions for the other fractions that we have to find. A. First one here, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 blocks are there for each figure. First figure is shaded, one part is shaded, so 1 upon 5. Here, two parts are shaded, so 2 upon 5. That is equals to three parts are shaded, so 3 upon 5. Now students, from this, this is a dash and here equals to. So 1 upon 5 and 2 upon 5. If we do addition or subtraction so that we get 3 upon 5. So these are like fractions. So 1 plus 2 equals to 3. Hence here addition sign will come. So the answer we will get is 3 upon 5. Solution. The three fractions are 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5, 3 upon 5. Now 1 upon 5 plus 2 upon 5 equals to we are getting 3 upon 5. That means what equals to this figure by adding these two fractions. Therefore, as additions, 1 upon 5 plus 2 upon 5 equals to 3 upon 5. Now, number B figures. In number B figure, inside the circle, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 parts are shaded. First one is all entire circle is shaded, so 5 upon 5. Second figure, 1, 2 and 3 parts are shaded, so 3 upon 5 equals to Two parts are shaded, so 2 upon 5. So here, 5 upon 5 dash 3 upon 5 equals to 2 upon 5. So what we will do? Subtractions or additions? Like fractions are there. So 5 minus 3 equals to 2. So here, subtraction sign will come. So solution. The three fractions are 5 upon 5, 3 upon 5 and 2 upon 5. So now, 5 upon 5 minus 3 upon 5 we will do subtraction so that we will get this 2 upon 5 third figure therefore as subtractions 5 upon 5 minus 3 upon 5 equals to 2 upon 5 so this figure we get as subtractions question number c in question number c inside the box six circles are drawn so Two parts are shaded for the first, so 2 upon 6. For the second part, your dash is there. And second part, three circles are shaded, so, shaded, so 3 upon 6. And your 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 circles are shaded equals to your 5 upon 6. So 2 upon 6 and 3 upon 6. If we add these two fractions, we will get 5 upon 6. And these are also like terms like fractions so 2 plus 3 equals to 5 so here addition sign will come so solution the three fractions are 2 upon 6 3 upon 6 and 5 upon 6 now 2 upon 6 plus 3 upon 6 equals to we are getting 5 upon 6 therefore as additions 2 upon 6 plus 3 upon 6 we are getting 5 upon 6 Question number 2. Now we have to solve each of this addition. First one. A. 1 upon 18 plus 1 upon 18 is given. That is what like fractions are there. So 1 plus 1 we can add numerator. Write 18 denominator one time. 2 upon 18 that is equals to 1 upon 9. We have to write it in simplest form. 8 upon 15 plus 3 upon 15. Here also like fractions are there. So 8 plus 3 numerator we will add, we will write denominator 11 upon 15. So here the simplest form is not there, so we will not write. Now number C, 7 upon 7 minus 5 upon 7, like fractions because denominator are same. So 7 minus 5 upon 7, that is equals to 2 upon 7. Now number D, 1 upon 22 plus 21 upon 22. So 1 plus 21 upon 22. 
that is equals to 22 upon 22 that is equals to 1 question number e 12 upon 15 minus 7 upon 15 here also it is like fraction 12 minus 7 upon 15 that is equals to 5 upon 15 which is equals to 1 upon 3 simplest form we have to write now question number f 5 upon 8 plus 3 upon 8 so 5 plus 3 upon 8 that is equals to 8 upon 8 and that is equals to 1 we have to write it in simplest form question number g 1 minus 2 upon 3 now students 1 minus 2 upon 3 is there 1 we have to take as 3 upon 3 so solution 3 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 like fraction so 3 minus 2 upon 3 we will do and that is equals to 1 upon 3 now question number h 1 upon 4 plus 0 upon 4 so students if it is 1 upon 4 plus 0 upon 4 like fractions are there so 1 plus 0 upon 4 1 plus 0 is 1 that is equals to 1 upon 4 question number i 3 minus 12 upon 5 so here to write as uh, to make 3 as 5 so 3 denominator nothing is there that is 1 so 5 upon 5 we will multiply both sides and minus 12 upon 5 5 3 is 15 upon 5 minus 12 upon 5 you get the denominator same that that is equals to 15 minus 12 upon 5 15 minus 12 is 3 upon 5 question number 3 Shugam painted 2 upon 3 of the wall space in his room. His sister Madhvi helped and painted 1 upon 3 of the wall space. How much did they paint together? Shugam painted 2 upon 3 of the wall. His sister painted 1 upon 3 of the wall. So, here we don't know what is the total of the wall. Then we have to find how much did they paint it together. So here as it is asked how much did they paint it together means we will do addition. Shubham painted 2 upon 3 of the wall space and Madhvi painted 1 upon 3 of the wall space. Therefore together they painted means what we will do? We will do additions. 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. So that is equals to what? 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 of the wall space. So if we add this. 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 that is equals to denominator same 2 plus 1 equals to 3 upon 3 the simplest form is 1. This means together they painted the full wall one full wall they painted. This means together they painted the full wall space they have painted full wall space. Question number 4 fill in the missing fractions. We have to give the answers to this missing fractions. First one is 7 upon 10 A. 7 upon 10 minus dash equals to 3 upon 10. Now students here we have to write therefore the required fraction. What would be the required fractions? 7 upon 10 minus dash equals to 3 upon 10. So here we will shift this so it will be 7 upon 10 minus 3 upon 10 that is equals to 4 upon 10 so students your answer is 4 upon 10 you can see 7 minus 4 equals to 3 now number b dash minus 3 upon 21 equals to 5 upon 21 now if we shift this then it will be minus will become plus here plus has become minus so, yeah, therefore, the required fraction. So, what is the required fractions? If we shift this, then it is, that is equals to 5 upon 21 plus 3 upon 21. 5 plus 3 is 8 upon 21. So, what is the required fraction? 8 upon 21. 8 minus 3 is equals to 5. So, 5 upon 21, we got the answer. Question number C. Dash minus 3 upon 6 equals to 3 upon 6. Therefore, the required fraction. Now students, here also minus 3 upon 6 is there. So it will be plus 3 upon 6. 3 upon 6 plus 3 upon 6 and that is equals to 6 upon 6. 
and therefore the required fraction is 6 upon 6 minus 3 upon 6. 6 minus 3 equals to 3 and denominators are same. Number D. Dash plus 5 upon 27 equals to 12 upon 27. Now students here also as plus 5 upon 27 is there. If we shift then it is minus 5 upon 27. Therefore the required fraction. What is the required fraction? The required fraction is 12, 12 upon 27 minus 5 upon 27. That is 12 minus 5 equals to 7 upon 27. So what is the answer? 7 upon 27. 7 plus 5 is 12 and denominators are same. So students here in this entire question we have shift the fractions and then we have find the missing fractions. Question number 5. Javed was given 5 upon 7 of a basket of oranges. What fractions of oranges was left in basket? So 5 upon 7 basket of oranges was given to the Javed of a basket from one basket. What fractions left? Solution. Full basket of oranges equals to 1. That is 7 upon 7. So Javed, why we have written this? Because here it is of a basket, one basket and that is written in fraction as 7 upon 7. Because here in the denominator it is 7. Now Javed was given 5 upon 7 of the bas of the oranges. Therefore, the fractions of oranges which was left was, we have to do 7 upon 7 minus 5 upon 7. That is equals to 2 upon 7. Therefore, so 2 upon 7 of the oranges were left in the basket.